When the summer heat wave has got you lethargic and the video game drought has you thirsty for your own delicious brain juices, give yourself a jolt to the system with a horror game that dares to ask, what if Fatal Frame and PT had a baby and that baby was the Antichrist, Madison? Jump into the indie horror game that's making waves despite having a name like the most annoying kind of valley girl because it looked like it might fill a little bit of the cavernous void that PT left when it was taken off the PS Marketplace. A title that goes above and beyond just a standard horror premise where you're stuck in a house, even though that is largely what you'll be doing, with a surreal horror experience that will have you searching every cranny and nook, and taking sick photos for your Instagram. In a new IP that really does scratch that itch for horror-style exploration, without just letting you blast ghouls with a shotgun. Everything is a lot less scary when you can put two in their chest. Occupy the shivering hands of Luca, a boy that wakes up in his grandpa's clearly evil house, only to discover that it's not only extremely creepy, but it's also the site of grisly murders, an otherworld ritual, and transdimensional portal. Basically an orgasm for every ghost hunting show out there. And if all that wasn't bad enough, you were possessed by a demon where the only way to exercise it is to finish the hellish ritual, all while you uncover the house's mysteries and your dubious part in them, made all the more awkward by your ghost grandma trying to gank you a million ways to Sunday. In a story that feels like the most awkward way to discover your family tree since finding out your last name used to be Hitler, then discover the pretty good writing chops told in the most annoying way possible through the voice of a whiny teenager. I think I've seen something like this in the house. Which will quickly wear down your will to empathize with him, even just a little bit. As each time he opens his mouth, you feel like you got hit with a whole discography of Panic at the Disco. <laughs> making you fight the urge to just say f*** it and run headfirst into the demon. Because at that point, being possessed might not be the worst fate for this kid. Okay look, all I'm saying is that you know there isn't something quite working when there's an option to just turn off the main character's voice acting and only theirs. Discover the elaborate point-and-click gameplay of Madison as you use your one defense against the demonic horde, your Kodak Obscura. As the odd device lets you take infinite Polaroids in an attempt to gain new insights, causing you to take pictures of literally everything right until you run into a puzzle and forget that you have the camera entirely, only to discover you just had to take a picture of it, which you'll definitely do next time, right after you finish getting murdered real quick. In an interesting gameplay loop that feels like it harkens back to a traditional horror experience if you aren't trying to play it by only looking through your peripherals because you've been ballpointing for like an hour and all it's going to take is one more jump scare before you have to switch to the adult pampers. So dust off that camera and get ready to make some terrifying memories in a game that will definitely make your blood run cold if you haven't thrown your controller into your monitor already or for anyone new to the genre, just died of a heart attack. If I'm not physically suffering from the effects of whiplash from clenching my butt cheek so hard, is it even really a horror game? Starring, discovering that you can hold the trigger to shake the Polaroid, shaking the Polaroid way longer than you need to, manically firing your camera at anything that moves like you're playing an FPS, closing the door after coming into a room so the ghost won't know you're there, looking down at the floor in an attempt to avoid jump scares, getting freaked out by the Doctor Who knockoff weeping angel every freaking time, trying the numbers on the locks and walls only to discover that they're bullshit, shaking more Polaroids, listening to cassettes while holding them in your hands, and spending 10 minutes deleting all your old pictures, you know, like you do with a meme folder on your phone, Ashley Madison. Yeah, the demons are horrifying and all, but there's definitely nothing more traumatizing than seeing your grandma in the nude. Ugh. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. Gonest Game Trailers is truly some of the gonest content of all time. Whatever you do in life, keep it gonest. Dad, can you tell me about Gonest Trailer? Subscribe for more Gonest Game Trailers. Gonists, but never forgottenists.